Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and last weekend was Reefstock. Reefstock was February 24th and February 25th at the Radisson Hotel in Denver, Colorado. It was an amazing show, and I did a full video for the Reef Builders channel that should be out soon. So for this video, I thought I'd just kind of do a little of the behind the scenes talk, the stuff that didn't make the video, and then we'll take a look at the stuff that I got for my tank. And actually, my wife did most of the buying. Reefstock officially kicked off on Saturday, February 24th. But I kicked it off on Thursday when I picked my buddy Darren DeGraw up from the airport. You may know Darren as Northwest Marine 62 or Rogue Aquariums. He's the guy standing next to Sanjay Yoshi in the picture. Darren's a longtime reef keeper, longtime fish keeper, and has a 600 gallon build coming up. So check out his channel linked down below. We met up Thursday, came back here, checked out my tanks for a while. And then Friday, we checked out some of the local stores. And then Friday afternoon, we headed to Reefstock because I was filming the show for Reef Builders. I could get in early, check out how the whole show set up and everything. I'd never seen any of this before. So I had a lot of fun just seeing the behind the scenes and how it all comes together. The show itself kicked off on Saturday, and I had the honor of being the official Reef Builders videographer. And I put a killer video together of the show, which will be dropping on the Reef Builders channel soon. Once it comes out, I'll link it in the description down below. Since I've already put a killer video together for Reef Builders, I'll skip most of that for this video. But there is a humorous story that didn't make that video I'd like to tell you guys. I was the main videographer for Reef Builders, and it was quite the honor. But one thing I spaced was that I was supposed to film the speakers. The first speaker was Vincent Chalius, and I walk downstairs to the meeting room and walk up to Jake, and Jake's like, so where's the camera? Where's the tripod? I'm like, ooh, well, I got the camera here, but the battery's dead, and the tripod, uh, that's in the back of your car. So Jake ran off to get the tripod out of the back of his car. I ran upstairs to get a new battery for the camera. And while all this is going on, my wife is trying to pack up and leave. She's bought a bunch of corals. She wants to go take them home, acclimate them, but she doesn't know how to dip them. So the whole time I'm trying to run up the stairs, get a new battery, explain to my wife how to acclimate corals. And this whole time, the show is on hold. I've got 75 people sitting in a meeting room waiting on me to get a camera and explain acclimation. So if you're wondering why the first talk was a little late, yeah, that was me. Sorry about that. Reefstock 2018 was so much fun. I met so many of you guys and I really appreciate you guys coming up, talking to me about reefing. There's just such an awesome reefing community in Northern Colorado in the Denver area. It is fantastic. I loved that interaction. I got to meet with vendors. I got to meet with coral sellers. It was just the best time. Plus, my wife bought most of the coral. So when I got home, I had surprise coral. 90% of what we bought, I didn't know about. So now let's go find out what my wife bought for her 24 gallon nano cube. And here's the frags my wife bought. The frag rack that they're sitting on was actually an early birthday present that Darren bought me. It's by Printed Reefing Solutions and it was really cool because they were printing them up right at the show. For the frags themselves, she picked out a nice selection of softies and LPS, mainly zoas, acans, and mushrooms. The corals lived on the frag rack for about a week before we had time to put them in the tank. With all the new corals in the tank, I have to say the 24 gallon net is starting to look really good. In that montage, you may have noticed this long tentacle toadstool leather. 
And this is actually a coral Jake gave me a couple of months ago. Under the right lighting, it's green, but here it's kind of a brown color. Now, color is not the only thing that makes a coral cool. This has some really cool shape and texture to it, and the way it flows is just amazing and adds so much to this tank. As for me, I bought one coral. That's this stunning Manipura Satosa. So Reefstock 2018 was an absolute blast. But do you guys wanna stop the video here? Nah, I really don't either. Because this right here is bugging the crap out of me. I've got this red Mani that's been fragged before and it just doesn't look right. And I've got this huge colony of bird's nest that's kinda of hanging out, shadowing out my gold hammer. So what do you say we just take a couple minutes and fix it? I'm loving the way the bird's nest looks right here. It just fills that spot so well. But there's gonna be some challenges going forwards. First, it's not glued on very well. So it's gonna to have to attach before it's knocked off by something else or I'm gonna to have to re-glue it. Second, there's just two pieces that are kind of like jammed in there. So those need to go grow together before they get knocked off. And of course, third, I've moved it back closer to the monies as I broke pieces off. So now it's got to reestablish its position in the tank between the bird's nest and the monies. But I think long term it's going to go well. Short term it's going to be worse before it gets better. Hey guys, I loved Restock. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching this episode of My Hunt Reefers. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.